Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are still here at the Chicago Auto Show, and of course, we had to stop by and take a deeper dive into this vehicle right here. What the heck is it? It's the all new 2025 Cadillac Escalade IQ. But before we get into the very first fully electrified Escalade, let's talk about what's going on here. Cadillac, so many generations of luxury vehicles. And really, when the Escalade first came out all the way back in 1998, if you could believe that, it really was a game changer for the, for the brand and for vehicles that people aspire to. When you hear Cadillac Escalade, you know that that's gonna be a top level of style, performance, and luxury. Now, obviously moving forward with electrification and on the heels of the Cadillac Lyric, we now have this Escalade IQ. I wanna show you more of what this vehicle is about and how it's gonna be a game changer. But in the end, is it worth the price at the end of the day? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this Escalade IQ and find out. Right off the bat, you're gonna notice that familiar Cadillac style. Now, when it comes to aerodynamic efficiency, this is the most efficient Escalade ever, being, of course, a full-size SUV. At the front, when it comes to lighting, Cadillac is spot on the money. You're gonna have that beautiful waterfall daytime running lamp, all LED. You're gonna have your multi-beam LED headlight, and what's great is, when you actually walk towards the vehicle, it's gonna give you a certain welcome presentation with the lighting, and that's a way that Cadillac is gonna separate themselves from the other brands is when it comes to their unique lighting effects. Now at the front, just like on the Lyric, you'll notice how you have that laser etched design where the lighting actually shines through in that midsection. On the lower portion, one of the things you'll notice is on the very bottom, there's a flap down there. That's part of that aerodynamic efficiency. Now, you can obviously use a bigger battery, but there's certain restrictions to that. Having a large vehicle that has a low coefficient of drag like this Escalade IQ is gonna help with the range. And if you're wondering about range, Cadillac is saying 450 mile real world range with this Escalade IQ. So very interesting when it comes to aerodynamics. Now, as we come across the front, of course, you're gonna have what many people call a frunk, that front mounted trunk area. You have that Cadillac badge, so much history, fully LED illuminated. And then notice how, like I said, that lighting drips down into that center portion, forward facing camera, and then working our way all the way down, you are gonna have that active arrow that's gonna open and close to allow the cool air for that Ultium battery pack. Remember, that is that platform that GM has been behind and has been progressing with and is in this Escalade IQ. Now, when it comes to the hood, it's a little bit of a balance. It's a little bit of a, a challenge to come up with a familiar Escalade shape but also have the efficiency. You'll notice that with the hood, how it just drops down so smooth into that upper area where the badge is. You have the little raises and rises that give it that substance to the look and the style, but also are gonna be there for airflow and to help, down, help with that drag. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. So what you're gonna find is you're gonna have these ginormous Chicago deep dish pizza style wheels. Now, if you're wondering what's the size of this wheel, 24 inch wheel. And what's fantastic about it is that even though it has that beautiful artistic design of all the different slots, not only does it look good, but it's also there to help smooth out the airflow. I like the way there's a cover covering up those center lug nuts. And if you're wondering what's the size of this tire, you're looking at 275 on the width, 50 series sidewall. Of course, you're gonna have that special tuned suspension to give you that familiar Cadillac ride. And that's something that Cadillac's been known for ever since vehicles like the Eldorado. Now, when we go down the side, you'll notice all of the nice intricate detail that they put inside the actual housing with the Cadillac badge. 
coming down the side of the vehicle, everything painted around those large fender openings. Love the way that you have this signature style side marker lights. Of course, you can't have enough of that Cadillac badge with the aluminum trim. Gloss black on your mirror caps, you're gonna have 360 degree cameras, which are great. And from the side, you could see how this is that familiar full size Cadillac Escalade that you're used to. But this is the IQ. One of the biggest differences is we don't have a flat roof. What you're gonna have is almost like a teardrop shape as it drops towards the back of the vehicle and the side glass is totally flush. When I first showed this to you, I didn't even see that. So thankfully, we've been able to bring you some extra details of that airflow coming down the side of the vehicle. I'm actually gonna switch places with Lori to show you that you're still gonna get, if you have some shorter people in your family and they maybe have a hard time climbing in, you're still gonna get these side, fixed side running boards designed to look good, but also be functional and work into that airflow two electric motors that are gonna power this. You're looking at well over 700 horsepower. And like I said, we're shooting for a range of 450 miles. Now, when we get to the tail end of the business, just like up front, I love the work, the style that they do to the lighting. Here's another little tidbit. You see this little area right here with the triangular shape? That's meant to generate airflow past the side of the vehicle Love that LED light and look, it drops all the way down. Very, very nice touch. On the back side, no rear wiper. I love the way it's hidden underneath to drop down. Why would you wanna just mess up a perfect rear end by putting a big wiper? Have it hidden, sweep down, even the way that they're doing the third brake light. It almost has like a Formula One-esque shape and style to it. And then of course, we have our familiar Escalade badge with the IQ, because this is that full BEV. And then working our way all the way down, you do have, of course, that underside that's gonna be there to help generate airflow. And you will be able to tow with your Cadillac Escalade, just like you're familiar with, with this Escalade IQ. But why don't we go ahead, let's take another stab and check out the interior of what Cadillac's bringing on this Escalade IQ. All right, guys, we are getting special access. And of course, Cadillac is bringing this special pre-production vehicle to the Chicago Auto Show. So we can't just jump in like we normally do, but I'm just very grateful to have the access to bring to you. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, I'm thinking about getting a luxury full-size SUV and I want it to be a BEV, a battery electric vehicle. How much is this gonna be? You're basically looking at a starting price around $130,000 for the Escalade IQ. There will be other trims, other options. This is for the dual motor setup. Like I said, 750 horsepower. But let's see what you get when you go Escalade IQ to the door panels. You'll immediately notice the level of materials, the nice stitching, the two-tone with the black and the tan. I love the way Cadillac is doing that laser etched with the lighting, and what's great is you could have different color lighting up top and different ambient lighting down below. They smartly moved the seat controls to the top portion of the door panel. That gives you actually a wider seat to sit in and be comfortable. Of course, you're gonna find things like massage settings on the seats, heated and ventilated, and then check out the drop dead gorgeous speaker grill cover. I love the way that AKG system Nice speaker grill cover flows into the trim, all real aluminum finishes, and a door pocket that is large enough easily for four hoagies from Jersey Mike's. Now going from the door panel to the dash, here's where we really get into the technology. The passenger gets a 25 inch infotainment system screen right where it says Escalade IQ. Now what's cool is if there's not a passenger sitting in the passenger seat, it will be illuminated. So the graphics will go over. Once a passenger gets in, then the driver will not be able to see what is on the screen, obviously for safety reasons. And then you'll notice how the driver gets the bigger piece of the pie, the 35 inch full OLED high resolution display. 
and then working our way down, we have that area where we have another 11 inch screen. This, you're able to electrically open up the doors, picking up your kids from school. I love the way it's got that cantilever system. It's almost like a floating center console. And then you do have storage down below for a purse, a purse, a sack, a satchel, small bag, and you'll notice the materials. They didn't put plastic. They're keeping with the high level of fit, feel, and finish. On your center console, you have your Cadillac direct drive control knob, the fine stitching, love the two-tone, and then the seats. That herringbone stitch pattern. Look at the way the speakers are in the headrest as we flow down. Like I said, a wider seat, a more comfortable seat, all the seat controls on the door, and you have that full glass panoramic roof. But why don't you come over here where I'm at to the business end and I'll show you behind the wheel of this Escalade IQ. All right guys, time to get to the business side, the place where you want to be sitting. Welcome you in with those, obviously like I said, those fixed running boards. You have a nice aluminum sill plate with the Escalade IQ. Remember this is a pre-production, so those pedals will be different, but what isn't going to be different is that nice low floor. That's really going to open up the amount of leg room you have, not just for the people up front, but wait until I show you the room for the people in the mid row, especially. Now, when it comes to the steering wheel, what I like is that it's going to look familiar, but you're going to notice some very unique touches. Straight from General Motors, of course, is that Super Cruise. That is probably one of the best semi-autonomous driving systems I've ever used personally in my own experience. And then you'll notice that nice, large, clear display. And on top of the dash, there's also a cutout for the HUD, the head-up display. Now, some of the technology that maybe you might be unfamiliar with that's going to probably surprise you are things like night vision. So this will be equipped with night vision, driving down the road at night, you see an animal, you see a person, what it does is it highlights it and puts a yellow box around it so that you're locked in on it and that you'll be safe, keep your Escalade IQ still looking good, and also protect the animal or the person. You could also tow up to 8,000 pounds with this Escalade IQ. And they're claiming right now, no exact numbers, zero to 60 in less than five seconds. But let's get to the mid row, because if you think this is impressive, the mid row is gonna blow your mind. All right guys, time to get into the mid row. So what's interesting is that this has this executive seat set up in here. A lot of times in other brands, when you go executive, you lose the third row. In the Escalade IQ, you still get the third row. Now, just like up front, that layered texture of design, the LED lighting, the stitching, the colors, the aluminum finish, even ambient lighting in that lower pocket is gonna welcome you into an area where, remember, that floor is lower, so it's gonna give you more space. And then because this is the executive chair setup, the seat is actually back further. And this is a 14 power adjustable seat. Up front are 16 way, this is a 14 way. Everybody gets massage set settings in here. So massage settings on these executive seats. Now, when it comes to entertainment, of course you're gonna have your two 12 inch screens on the backs of the seats up front, all the stitching, the leather, and then you have another command center where to open up the doors. You have a five climate adjustable system where everybody's gonna have their own controls for temperature and blower fan. Down below, you have enough room easily for that Super Bowl game day winning football. And one of the other touches as we back out is going to be the seats. So there'll be a button to press here and that will actually move the seat so you could get into the third row. But what's wonderful is, remember this is an SUV, let's see if we could get into the cargo area and show what's back there. All right guys, tail end of the business. Before I just let you into the cargo area, I wanna show you the piano lighting effect. Look at this, absolutely stunning, the intricate detail. And I think that's one of the things that people who want it all are gonna notice that with the Escalade IQ, the attention to detail is throughout the whole vehicle. Remember those signature identifiers of those tall rear taillights, look at how they reimagined it and brought it into place so that if you saw this a mile down the road, you would know, hey, that's the new Escalade IQ. Now, of course, you're gonna have that power liftback, 
to get you in. There's AKG speakers in that part of the vehicle. Plus, with the third row up, what I did was is we have half up, half down, so you have that 60-40 split, all power folding seats. Now, the executive seats, of course, do not fold flat, but if you go with the bucket seats, those will actually fold flat. You have, of course, all your plugins, home power source, all the power controls in the back of the vehicle to have those seats come up and down, and you will have storage underneath as well. But these are the things that Cadillac is doing. They're looking forward, but they also have to remember not only their style, the design that people are used to, but also how it feels. And I think that's the next step of this journey is to get behind the wheel. I can't wait to drive one of these new Escalade IQs. But let me know what you think. Are you excited for this? Put your comments in that comment section. I know the Escalade and Cadillac folks are gonna look through those comments and let us know how you feel. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raised Rights family. Of course, we need to thank LG Rady, working that camera like the maestro that she is. It's like she's conducting an orchestra. Very well done, maestro. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.